Sam of Wall Salmon here. Today we're taking a road trip in the 2018 Cadillac CTX, CT6 from Cleveland to Chicago and then tomorrow on to Memphis. And this particular car is special because it's one of the first production examples with GM's new Super Cruise uh, semi automated driving system. Uh, for Super Cruise, is what's known as a level two system that means that it can uh, control both uh, speed. And, uh, and also steering, so it'll do lane centering. So it's designed for highway driving, highway driving assist, uh, and allows, it's the first system that's officially allowed in the US for hands-off driving, which means once you get it set, uh, you can take your feet off the pedal, take your hands off the steering wheel, and just watch the road, and then just let it go. And, and it'll, if when it encounters a situation that it can't handle, or if the system decides with its driver monitoring system that uh, the driver is not paying attention, it will actually alert the driver and hand back control. So let's try this out here. So uh, I am going to get the car centered here in the lane. And there are icons on the screen. There's a little steering wheel icon that comes on when you're in the center of the lane and it's on a road where the, the system can be activated. Press the button on the left hand steering wheel spoke and the green light comes on on the light bar on the steering wheel here as well as on the steering on the instrument cluster to indicate that the system's engaged and at that point you can take your hands off the wheel and drive completely hands free you still have to keep an eye on the road and there's an infrared camera mounted on the steering column that if you take your take if you look away from the road for any length of time uh, for more than a few seconds it will start to alert you and if you don't look back, it will eventually start slowing the car down and, and bring it to a stop if you don't eventually respond. Now I'm gonna switch lanes here. One of the things the system can't do is do auto lane change yet. Uh, eventually that will probably get added, but until then, you have to manually change lanes. But now that I'm over in the other lane, just take my hands off the steering wheel and the system is back engaged again. When, you take, when the driver takes control of the wheel, the, uh, the light and the light bar here will turn blue. So if I start to steer manually, it detects that, the light bar turns blue. And then when I'm back in the center of the lane, it turns green again, and I can let go of the wheel and just drive along. Now so far what we've seen today uh, with this car is the, anything that relies on cameras is still kind of finicky when it comes to actually detecting lane markings, depending on how good the lane markings are, and also the light conditions and how the light is reflecting off the lane markings. And we found a number of occurrences today prior to recording this where the system uh, simply um, could, not, could no longer detect the lane markings or it thought I was looking away um, and started to disengage the system. Once we arrived in Chicago, we consulted with GM engineer Rob Bolio about the issues we were seeing with repeated disengagement early on the trip. It turns out that while as we were driving west in the early morning from Cleveland with the sun at our backs, the sun itself was at an angle where it was shining directly through the window of the car into the driver, the driver monitor camera and basically blinding it, which was causing it to repeatedly disengage. This is a known issue and we stopped having a problem once the sun got a little bit higher in the sky. GM is, GM is researching ways to improve upon this performance on future versions of Super Cruise. Fortunately, the way uh, GM has set up the, the interface with the light bar on the top of the steering wheel rim here, you can see that without uh, in your peripheral vision while you're looking at the road without having to actually look down at the steering wheel all the time. So right now, it, it just flashed uh, green a little bit. That's the first level of escalation where it's getting ready to potentially hand back control. And it's doing that again. And I'm not sure if it's doing that because I'm waving my hands around in front of the IR emitters and maybe blocking my face, but it's, uh, it's, a, it's a similar type of system to uh, what um, Apple is doing with Face ID on the new iPhone 10 that's coming out next month. Uh, although uh, this system is uh, capturing less detail about your face because it doesn't have to do uh, face authentication. It's just tracking to make sure you're, you're actually watching the road one forward facing 
two under the mirrors and then the rear backup camera uh, as well as um, high definition map system and the driver monitoring system uh, which has that infrared camera and then also uh, active rear wheel steering system which is your backup steering system if the front steering fails uh, all adds up to a five thousand dollar price premium on the uh, premium luxury trim level of the CT6, which brings the price of that one uh, to about, uh, about $71,000. And it comes standard on the CT6 Platinum Edition, which is the top level trim.